what we've now got is political will. We didn't have it before, you know, to my intense frustration. Um, uh, as Brendan noted, the 80-20 rule, it was the rule that, that, that we applied in gathering together 19 groups from the Business Council, the Minerals Council, Petroleum, academics, scientists, conservation groups, Indigenous groups, and they were all drawn together. And one of the first things I said at the first meeting, as Brendan will, will, will affirm, you'll never get 100%. If you're happy with 80%, that's better than nothing. So let's agree on 80%. And when the review came out, the emails and the texts that I got which said, thank you, this is what we wanted, this is it, with two exceptions, and I'll mention them, I'm going to name them, West Australian Chamber of Mines, who said, if you adopt the review, you'll get no more mining in West Australia. That was bollocks, a load of utter rubbish, but they got to... The, the Premier at the time, and he then got to the Prime Minister. That's why nothing's happened on the review. And the other one was the extraordinary one from National Farmers Federation, who said, what's in it for us? And my response was to say, it's not what's in it for you. This is about what's in it for the environment, so long as we can do it in a way that doesn't cause you any significant disadvantage. But they didn't want that. They wanted something in it for them. Now. The, 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 the areas, and this is where I'm going to give you some hope, um, is that business is now on board. Business Council, Dutton has described them as woke, rubbish. You know, the Business Council, led by Tim Reid and, and Jennifer Westacott, are totally on board with this, and uh, Tim is working with us in another area in terms of the integration of climate change and carbon credits, carbon emissions with with um, uh, yeah, the issues of biodiversity. And they are very much interrelated. You know, When one talks about clearing forests, clearing land, deforestation, et cetera, then you know, if, if I have one area where I'd be focusing on, that'd be one. Two would be the Indigenous engagement issue. It is so important. I said there wasn't going to be limited to two, uh, and you probably won't limit to 10 minutes either. Um, uh, but, You've but, got 30 seconds. Right, yeah. <laughs> but but uh, the third one, I think, would be to put in place a, main, a manda mandated hierarchy. Avoid, mitigate, and then look at offsets. Whereas currently what occurs is we have offsets, number one, we don't worry about avoiding, we don't worry about mitigating, right? And the result is then the offsets are done in a really, really poor way. Um, uh, you know, they, they are ignored largely and, they don't, and they're not quality offsets. Uh, the other thing, the 1800 threatened species, we've got conservation advices in respect of nearly 1800, Brendan. We've got recovery plans, no one could tell me, but it is so small, it doesn't matter. And the recovery plans that are there are not funded, they're ignored, nothing happens. So if you want to do something about biodiversity, address not just the conservation of advices, but start focusing on recovery plans and we'll get there.